Let's suppose that we have a circle of radius r. This is r. And that we have an angle with center at the center of the circle. Then this region enclosed by that, by the angle and the circle, this is called a sector. Uh, let's find the area of that sector. We have that that area is equal to the angle in radians divided by 2 times radius square. Let's see some examples. If we have a, if we have the whole the whole circle. The whole circle can be considered as a sector. In this case, the angle would be 2 pi radians. Then the area would be the angle in radians, 2 pi divided by 2 times radius square, which is pi r square. Then this would be the area of the whole circle. When they are when we have a sector with angle 2 pi, we have a whole circle, and this is the area of that circle. Uh, we have something like, let's suppose that this is 5, and that this angle is 39 degrees. How do we compute the area of that sector? According to this formula, we need to multiply the angle, but we have to be careful that that angle has to be in radians. Uh, the notion of degrees, uh, geometrically, it doesn't have any meaning. Radians have a meaning. Remember that the notion of radians, if you have an angle of pi radians, then pi radians means that if you are in a unit circle, then this distance to go from here to the angle of pi, this distance is exactly pi. Uh, radian has a geometrical meaning, degree don't have a geometrical meaning. For that reason, it's important that you change these degrees into radians to be able to use this formula. Then we have that 39 degrees. Let's change it to radians. Uh, 180 degrees is the same as pi radians. And then this is an angle of 39 pi over 180 gradients and with that information now we can find the area the area of this would be area is this angle 39 times pi over 180 divided by 2 times 5 square we can do this in the calculator and we will get Eight point five zero eight, approximately eight point five zero eight. If we have that these are five inches, then the unit here would be for eight point five zero eight inches square, because we are multiplying inches times inches. Radians they don't have any units. Now let's find the length of an arc. If we have the same situation. We have a circle of radius r, but now we consider an angle with center at the origin of the circle, but we are wondering about this distance. This distance is called the arc, and it usually is denoted by s, arc. Let's suppose that we have this distance, then the distance is just the angle in radians, times r. That's just the formula. If we have that, we have a circle of radius 10 and this angle is pi over 4 radians, then this distance would be s is equal to pi over 4 times 10 and this is So approximately equal to 
0.854 and again if these are like centimeters then this will be also centimeters let's do another example if you have an angle of 105 degrees and a radius of 3 and you are wondering about this length, this arc length, then uh, the formula is the angle times the radius. But in this case, notice that the angle in degrees, degrees don't have any geometrical meaning. Then we need to change it into radians. The angle must be in radians. And we have that 105 degrees. Let's change it to radians. Then we know that 180 degrees is the same as pi radians. In this case, the degrees cancel out. And we get that this angle is pi times 105 over 180. If you want, you can find this. This is approximately 1.8326, approximately. And then uh, to find the length, it's just this number, 1.8326 times the radius. And we get 5.498. If these are inches, then this will be inches as well. Okay, this is how we compute the arc length and how to compute the area of a circular sector.